this is a typical ignition coil for a negative earth car. Uh, you've got a positive and a negative symbol there and if like me you've ever dismantled one you'll find it's like a transformer shown here. The high voltage and the low voltage side is represented like that. These values are approximate measured with a cheap meter but with a cheap meter you'll never detect which of the coil ends are connected together. But take my word for it, that is a representation of the ignition circuit. We've got the switch, hence SW is labelled there, and contact breaker is typically labelled there. Now this car has got some interesting problems. I've got an electronic flasher module fitted and when I switch the ignition on strange things happen. It runs quite badly. It also gets through batteries rather quickly and I've got this scope rigged up to the battery. Now, there is nothing else to see. But the fact that it gets through batteries to a tune of two years, perhaps three years, is another reason I suspect the ignition coil is wired back to front. And with a voltmeter I have noticed that the negative terminal has been connected to the ignition power line. So this red dotted line is the preferred current path for the high tension. It goes through the ignition capacitor. That is why it is important it's in good health. It's 0.2 microfarads value and combined with the inductance there and a correctly gapped spark plug which is effectively a capacitor. This is a tuned circuit. It oscillates. It is energized through the coil to make it oscillate. That is an alternating current circuit. The secondary function of that capacitor is to quench the spark across the contact breakers because when you open those this inductive 12 volt circuit has a tendency to burn the points if that capacitor is not correct. So that's an overview of the correct system. The battery I've not polarised because it does not matter. Ignition coils don't care which way the electrons flow, take it from me. And speak of a fatter spark with a negative earth system or a positive earth system, one being better than the other is Boulder Dash. You may experience one side of the electrode corroding at a different rate to the other, but that's not important. This is the incorrect way. Note the high voltage has got two directions it may take that point it may go down through the coil through the capacitor as intended but I've got a good feeling it also goes up here and goes through the other electrical systems and causes electromagnetic interference with the electronics in that flashy unit. I'm going to change the polarity of the coil and see what does happen to the flasher.